No matter if it's a diesel or if it's a gas engine, the turbocharger, well, it's going to have a wastegate. Typically, this wastegate is going to be mounted on the exhaust side of the turbocharger, and it's actuated by a vacuum pot that controls the wastegate. One adjustment that must be performed if you're replacing this, or in some cases if you're replacing the entire turbocharger, is to control the preload on the arm itself. This adjustment is designed to hold the wastegate shut, but still have some tension on the rod and the diaphragms inside of the wastegate actuator. If it's not properly adjusted, well, the turbocharger, it's not gonna be able to spool up as quickly as possible, and essentially it's gonna act like a boost leak and the engine is going to lose power. You may be thinking to yourself, well, I'll just measure the old one and the new one and I'll make them the same length. This doesn't work because the old one and new one have different amounts of tension and vacuum force on the back of the actuator. So even if you sit at the same length, well, you could have a leak on the exhaust side wastegate. So when you've replaced that turbocharger, make sure you're looking at the service information for the section on adjusting the preload for the wastegate actuator. In some cases, the replacement turbocharger may already include the actuator as part of the entire assembly. In some cases, it's adjusted just right so you don't have to worry about this. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.